Hello, my name is Fricky Murray and I'm from a company called Neolik. Neolik is situated in Pretoria in the heart of South Africa. I'm a software engineer. Today I want to present the new code external Profinet communication module. The Profinet module is an external communication module that is added to the T-Bus of the new code. For the presentation I have the following setup. A VPAS Speed 7 PLC with Profinet that is going to be the master for this demonstration. A VIPA IO rack that will be used to show some cyclic interaction between the Profinet slave and the VIPA PLC master. On the VIPA IO rack I have the following configured. A power module, a field input module with 8 inputs, a field input module with 4 inputs, this is just a power rack divider, a field output module with 4 outputs. On the new code relay system I have the following configured. I've got a new code motor protection relay with my Modbus RTU as an internal communication module. The internal communication module will be able to read from the new code relay, but it will not be able to control if I've got an external communication module selected. This will allow for two communication modules to talk to the new code relay at the same time. Here I have a new code IO expander with four relay outputs and eight field inputs. Here is a Profinet communication module, and at the end I've got a Unitronics PLC. The Unitronics PLC will act as a master for the Modbus RTU. I will also be using the Step 7 application and the new code frontend to show the internal workings of these devices. The Profinet module's address gets set up via the new code frontend. On the front I've got the address indicating via a tricolor LED, where green is the 1s, red is the 10s, and orange is the 100s. The new code Profinet module supports the following features. Cyclic data via RT and IRT, parameterization, acyclic data, diagnostic and IM structure is supported on the new code Profinet module. A new code relay and frontend is needed in order to configure the Profinet slave device. A Profinet slave device does not retain its settings but rather gets its settings from a new code motor protection relay. This allows the swap out of the Profinet module without the use of a front-end. In the new code relay underneath the external comms tab, Profinet needs to be selected. After Profinet is selected, then the address can be assigned to the new code relay. This address must match the device name inside of a PLC, which will be shown later. On the left side is two words, and in these words the bits can be fully customized as to what the system integrator requires. On the right hand side we've got assignable words from 1 to 20. These are also fully customizable as what the system integrator needs these words to be. These words will travel from the new code to the PLC. After the configuration is done, this configuration can be transmitted to the new code relay. The Profinet module will accept these settings and go into data exchange if a PLC is configured correctly. As for the setup procedure underneath a PLC, we can go into the hardware config of a PLC. In order to add the new code Profinet slave device, we go underneath Profinet IO, Additional Field Devices, Switching Devices, New Code Mark II, and there we can find the new code Mark II Profinet IO. It can be added to the bus by simply dragging and dropping it onto the bus. After this is done, we need to set up what address the slave device is by right clicking Object Properties and changing the last two digits of the device name to 25, which our device has been programmed to. Device number must also match this. The Ethernet IP address must also match 25. Be also sure that the sign IP address via the IO controller is also selected. Press OK. Parameters can be configured by right-clicking on slot 0 of the new code Profinet module and selecting object properties. Under the Parameters tab, the parameters of the new code can be found. Here all the protection, logic and starter logic settings of the new code relay can be configured, but the protection, function and starter needs to be enabled in order to download these configurations. A failsafe bit is also enabled. When the setting is enabled, the cyclic words from the PLC to the new code relay will be written as zeros as soon as the new code Profinet module loses communication with the PLC. When disabling this feature, the new code relay will retain the last sent cyclic words from the PLC 
install a power file here or communication gets restored. After the parameters has been correctly configured, it's time to add some cyclic data. Underneath the GSD file, you will find the input words and the output bytes. Cyclic bytes from a PLC to the new code relay must be inserted into slot 1. The cyclic bytes from a PLC can be from 1 byte to 4 bytes. Currently in this example, I'm only going to be using 2 bytes. And we're going to put, in, we're going to put them onto address 0. Cyclic words from a new code relay to the PLC must then be inserted into slot 2. The cyclic words can range from 2 words to 21 words. Word 1 will always be the heartbeat indication from a new code relay. The remaining words will be represented as structured in the new code relay configuration. For this example, I'm going to be using 21 words. We are going to put, place them onto address 0. After the new code provenant module has been configured, we can save and compile and download the hardware configuration to the PLC. To give a bit more of an in-depth look into what we've got configured here, currently on the field input module, input 1 is linked to the new code relays relay 2, and input 2 is linked to the new code relays relay 2. On the output module, output 1 is linked to the new code's field input 1. On output 2, we've got field input 2. And this flashing LED currently here on output 3 is the heartbeat of the new code Profinet module. On the fourth output over here, we've got the link status between the Profinet module and the new code relay. Currently, to show you how the cyclic data is currently interacting, if I'm switching field input 1 here on the PLC, you will see that relay 2 on the new code relay is switching on and off as I'm switching this input. Same as with input 2. It's currently switching relay 3 on and off. If I had to go vice versa, if I switch a field input 1 on the new code relay, you will see that in the input 1 LED comes on. If I switch input 2, the input 2 LED comes on. When I pull out the Profinet communication cable, you will see that the heartbeat immediately stops, indicating that the Profinet module is not currently on the SCADA system anymore. This can be used to take action for when the PLC loses communication with the Profinet module. A way to test the system integrator's PLC code without actually having the system there is using the test feature underneath the new code relay front end. The test feature will actually induce simulation values into the new code motor protection relay as if it was actually get receiving information from a motor. To start up this process, just press the Start Simulation button. The simulation will now indicate it's in progress. When adding load, the relay will act as if it's got load and transmit the load values across to the SCADA. If we take it to overcurrent, you will see that the overcurrent LEDs and the any alarm flag bits also go high. So this unit is currently reacting as if it's currently got a drive on. The same as w when we add voltage. You will see that the voltage present flag and all the load voltages will show. Also note that this is also directly also showing on the Modbus currently as well. This brings me to the end of this demonstration. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Nuco Profinet module. For more information on the new code Profinet module, you can contact Newelec via email sales at newelec.co.za or visit our website at www.newelec.co.za. From me, Fricky at Newelec, goodbye.